Network. It's your boy, The Real Shane Foster. You're now watching The Lalo Show. So it's day 17 of quarantine for me. I couldn't take it anymore. I was talking to a few of my celebrity friends, and they was like, hey, man, why don't you pull up with the camera? One of them was my good friend, Shane Foster, super producer. So I grabbed my camera, I pulled up on him, of course, we stayed six feet away at all times, but we chopped it up for a minute and drank some Hennessy. Check it out. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Lalo, your favorite filmmaker, and you are now watching The Lalo Show. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. Right now, today, we are here with super producer, Shane Foster. What's up, my man? What's up, man? What up? Hey, hey, hey. Finally hey, got man. with you. Finally, right? Man, yeah. in a minute. We've been talking about this shit. Yeah, been moving going. around the city, making things happen. I see you doing your thing. Hey, everybody, man. man. Appreciate it, man. You yeah, yeah. So, uh, so tell me, um, how you get started as a producer? You know what I mean? Where you start? So, as a producer, like, originally, like, my background, you know, come from the military, being in the military. I got out of the military. You got to figure out what's that next step after the military. So, I'm like, damn, I've always been good with, like, entertainment, music. Just mm -hmm. overall, like in that in that realm, like I used to own a nightclub, I used to own a little restaurant, all that stuff by serving. So moved out of LA. I was like, man, I'm gonna go to school. I'm actually take the shit serious, go to school for it, learn it. Got out of LA, uh, went to LA Film School, mm -hmm. got into the program, entertainment business program, auto engineering program. And I was like, man, I like I really wanna do this shit for real and leaned up with some, some great people. I leaned up with my partner, man, Davis Chris, shout out Davis Chris. And then like the First day we met in LA at the school, which is crazy, like the first day of class. So they had the state of the art studios. And like we were the only two out of our whole, you know, like freshman class that were there trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And then like that's how we've been rocking yeah, out ever since then. We was we like, man, like he's serious about it. That shows like, you know, you're working at it. Like he's serious, I'm serious. We both sat there for like four hours trying to set up the boards. Mm -hmm. Did you figure it out? Yeah, we figured it out. And we've been rocking out ever since. People don't understand. When you like have a relationship with somebody, you just go, some of people will walk you through doors. Yeah. If you got a solid relationship, they might not know nothing else about it. They might even fuck with you on the music stuff. They might be an actor. Right. And they talk to the music supervisor. Yeah, it's on been, a film project. It's been times where, you know, I might be at an event or something, doing some work for somebody else, and a celebrity that I don't even know. I don't even know you're a celebrity. People think I know everybody. I think we talk about that. Like, he really don't. He really, hey, he really don't be knowing. He be like, I, who, I don't know that? who is that. I don't know who that but, is. But the truth is, I probably had them on my camera, took pictures with them, the whole nine, and I still don't know who they is. It's just that I'm a genuine person. So like, if I fuck, don't matter who you is. Right, it don't matter who you exactly. are. You know what I mean? So that's why I know a lot of celebrities because I end up knowing who they are later on. Like today, I didn't even know you produce records with Yo Gotti and. You know, because uh, we always be doing other stuff, yeah. We don't know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just gotta be yeah, different like, relationship. That's you know, what I mean? and like that's that's what opened up doors. Like, a lot of people need to understand that, like, just be genuine, be who you are, right. be no do, be no do who you are as a person. If you stand, like I said, if you stand on something, you won't fall for anything, right. but if you don't stand on anything, you'll fall for anything. It, it's just a fact of life, like, it, it's it, it is who you are as human, it's who we are as human beings, right. so. I always just recommend people just carry it as a like, just be who you are. Like, right. I ain't gonna flex. Like, be like, yourself you, said, like you said, we were turned up. Like, you, you call me out. That's funny. <laughs> hey, you call me out with that. That's funny, though. You call yeah, me out. Listen, like, be yourself as everybody else. But I'll turn, but like, I was like, you know, yeah, I was, but I was that original. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I, I'm over there. Like, we be turned, but yeah. it be, yeah, yeah, we get to be on this shit, though. We get to get it in. Like, and people need to, and like, a lot of people don't understand that balance. Right. They get turned and they get two turned. Right. They got right. shit to do. Oh, I don't want this. Yeah. Like, in the back of my mind, if I meet somebody two turned, I'd be like, oh, I don't want it. Yeah, he too. I, I don't know. Like, he, you, you questionable. Like, if I put you in this situation, how you gonna react? Right. But then you you find out later that his license is suspended. That bring up a whole oh, bunch, of, a whole bunch <laughs> of shit. Yeah. Like, then you like, man, license is license. <laughs> you can't pass a background. Right. Like, whoa. Because people don't know what sponsorship, they run backgrounds. Oh, for real? Well, I'm dead. Damn, they don't want <laughs> They don't want to. <laughs> You no, know, they don't want to like, they don't want to, you know, like big, this is like, they're not corporate. They, they're not going to risk their brand because what comes back, what people do, people are always going to hate. People are always going to pull up that dirt. Just like anything in the political, like when they get to like, the music industry is politics. The 
film industry is politics. Entertainment industry is politics. It's like anything else in the world. Right. You get to a certain level. So with politics, that comes with bad mouth and like, oh yeah, he did this. They bring up like they still bringing up fucking uh, what's his name? Chris Brown beating beating girl. Like for what though? Right. This man has grown so <laughs> past that. If right. you paying attention, not 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 only that, but how many people out here? That have done that so many times. So yeah. many times. Since you know what I mean? So and he was a kid then. So. He's young. He was, he was NBA young boy now. Is that it? Yeah, I rock with it. Yeah. I rock with it. Like you do young immature and like that's the thing about growth as a human being. But it's politics too. Yeah. If you know as that person, that's how people perceive it. That that's that goes to show you like how this industry is and people don't understand that. They do a lot of stuff as industry industry artists, like like you said, we were talking about the whole be fast podcast on like that. niggas low key kind of beefing like yeah because yeah. if you fuck shit that other people do around you right and right. now you yeah, gotta yeah. fix it yeah yeah you gotta fix it you gotta yeah. fix it you gotta maintain your brand and that's why you gotta be careful who you surround yourself around and kind of like you know baby it and like what you actually got going on because sometimes you gotta shoot the message yeah you gonna have to like fix shit yeah and now I, me personally just at this little independent level I've had to go back and fix shit. Oh, I had people help me with my social media, answering emails, and then they sassy and they doing this, they doing too much. And that ain't that ain't me. Like that ain't me. Now I gotta go fix this shit. Right, right, right. So it's like, oh damn, like they showing me, you know, motherfucker, this technology. Yeah, this message. I'm like, in my mind, like I ain't never seen this shit day in my life. I'm like, but so and so was. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm shit. like, now I gotta fix this. What advice would you give? those young producers right now that are trying to come up, trying to get that track or, or placement with Young Dolph or, or Yo Gotti or, you know, and they, and they feel like they have what it takes to do that. What do we, what do we, uh, what I recommend, do? like I said, was the only way I even ever got to the door was being consistent and persistent, mm -hmm. but balancing them out. Don't be over aggressive. Listen, 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 listen to my, listen to my, like, their opinion don't matter. You have to understand as a producer, no one else's opinion matters. It's what you think. And if you stand behind what you, you think that's the hottest thing, act like it's the hottest thing. Right. Right. Constantly post that. Constantly do that. Constantly support it. Because a lot of artists, they get intimidated. They want people, they, they want people's approval. You don't. That's one thing I learned. Like, you don't need people approval. And I was right. like, damn, you're right. right. You really don't. If you keep moving the way you move, people, you'll be the Wi-Fi. Right. People want to connect with you. Like, who's right. this guy that keep? Right. right. Who's the guy? And then get out. Like, get out from my biggest mistake. I would say, starting out was like I never left the studio, and mm. that is mistake one. Get your ass out of the studio. Get out of that studio. Go to these events. Support the people that you want to rock with. If that you had two, if you had two or three young dog concerts, and you get your budget right, and you buy the backstage pass, you know the meet and greets and all that. Mm. You think they're not gonna know who you are on the third show? Mm. You think they're gonna be like, this guy's at every. Right. And then you do that conversation, they don't remember, yeah, this guy, like, who is this guy? Yeah, oh, he be with Dolph. He be with Dolph. Like, who's this guy? <laughs> yeah. You and all the photos, you and all this, like, like get your like get your shine on moment. Cause perception is reality. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all about this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, let me, we gonna get some more Hennessy on that one. Yeah, we, we gonna get some more Hennessy on that man. one. Hey, listen, man, this guy right here, we at an event, right? <laughs> so I'm working the event, I'm filming the event. Shout out to ATL Top 22. Man. ATL Big Top 20, man, that nigga, bitch, man, that nigga is yeah, that nigga, out of there. Yeah, he's like, gone. Open he's the doors, right. he out of there, bro. Yeah, he's doing yeah. too much too soon right now, but it's all good, it's all good. But this, this dude here, I'm sitting, I'm putting my camera in trying to get it set up for the event. And you know, other people is off different places doing different things. It's a big event. It's what, five, six, seven hundred people there? About seven hundred people. Yeah, so there's a lot of people just moving around and taking pictures. So they got the backdrop. The step and the, the repeat. <laughs> <laughs> so I see him over in the corner of the step and repeat while people take the pictures. But right before they take the picture, he'll always do this. <laughs> hey, that's how you gotta do it. Look, Star, right? Be, be you. And did anybody re did anybody reject that? Hell no, no, they didn't reject it. They just sit there and smile. And now it's, it's probably like I said, but, perception. But but see, some people may call it photo bone. But this is what I seen after that. I seen you actually strike a conversation. Exactly. 
And that's like, yeah, you got in the picture. But you And I'm so like, hey, I'm so and so. Like, by the way, I'm so and so. Like, I like that photo. Let's get another one. Like, right. if they don't like that one, let's get another one. Right, right. You know, like, yeah, you get that right yeah. one. Like, yeah, you get two or three one. pictures. Like. Two or three. And he's like, yeah, all right, I got two or three pictures now. You, ain't, you know who I am now. Oh, yeah. But it is about establishing presence. Mm. And that's just something I learned. Um, I was, like I said, I read, I showed you the book. Like, I read the book. I can't think of who wrote it. But, like, Art of the Pitch, man, like, that is, that is like a, the biggest opener is me being a, I was a shy, timid. Like, you would never think that about me now. Mm. You'd be nobody back, like, this guy, like, people that really know me, they're like, this guy's a nerd. He was a nerd. Right. He was a nerd in school. Like, this dude was quiet. He never right, say right, nothing right, right. to see me like I am now. He wouldn't even talk about that. People be like, wow, like, like, people hit me all the time. They be like, man, I didn't know you was, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, right. when you, like, they trying to figure out when I come on Michelle, but it's just like, me better myself as a person, like, reading. I was in the military, like, I just stayed in the boat. Mm. I just look like a number in the system, like just doing what, what I'm supposed to do as a soldier. Mm. And now I apply that same discipline, that same loyalty, integrity, respect, selfless service, all those qualities I, I, I bring over to the entertainment industry because I hate that it's so tarnished. It's different between different levels of different folks. It's tarnished. Good. And I try to fix it. I like, I do my part. I ain't screwing nobody. Oh, I ain't screwing nobody. Else. I show people how to make money. I ain't never that so we were just talking about something. We gonna do that later. Yeah. We were just talking yeah. about other yeah. stuff, like about how to like Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> Already, yeah. we talk about like how to make money. I, why, would I, why would I not show you how to make money? Right, that's crazy. And I don't understand how people did. Uh, mostly mean is like, why you not showing folks how to get that? Right, like why you that selfish? And like I said, it comes with sometimes artists is just selfish like that. Yeah. They only care about themselves. And I'm trying to bring that in culture. And that's why, like, that's when me and Bishop rock out because if anybody know ATL Top 20, like, this nigga has helped, been over backwards to help anybody. And him oh, yeah. not even knowing me yeah. from nobody. So like, he did we just did, with me. We doing business online. Like, we doing business virtually in emails. Right. You don't personal, but to open your arms up, like, yeah, here's my network. You can't. You can, that's what this. That's what need to be about. Yeah, that's everybody what, that's how we should all be. Then it, just as a, a black community, like need to be right, just a black community. But at the same time, you have a lot of people that be doing too much too. Mm. You be wanting to help them, but they be. Doing you can't too. like yeah. <laughs> you it's right. You right. It's been time I look at like I go to social media. I'm like, damn, I, 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 I want to help with you too. <laughs> but I want to. You just post it. Yeah. Like people don't understand they the content you post can be perceived different from the next level. If you always posting smoke, 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 I'm gonna think you're fucking druggy. Right. If you constantly posting drink, 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 I'm gonna think you're alcoholic. Uh-huh. So you, you twerking all the time. time I'm you twerking all the time, think you're a whore. Right. I don't want my brand about that. Like you're not like what the brand is gonna be like. You gotta realize when people looking at you, they are a brand. They're not thinking about it personally. Like personally, I think you're cool and dope. Fuck, I like, fuck with you, but. You gotta think of how the world, like people not, they not, a lot yeah, of people don't think outside, life. yeah. People don't think outside of that bubble yeah. of being an entrepreneur. Like entrepreneurship is about being outside of the bubble. You can't be about yourself. You gotta stand, like I said, right. you gotta be behind your brand. Right. If you're not behind that brand, you don't have something to stand on. Like people just not gonna respect you. It's right. just, it just comes hands in hand. And if you're doing too much wild shit, like I'm not gonna wanna work with you. Right. If you constantly posting fight pics and you, Fighting all the time and getting turned up with folks. You all get locked like, up. Always being locked up. Always <laughs> posting free war. <laughs> RIP. Like I don't want that energy around yeah, me. I'm not. an energy. I'm an energy person. <laughs> I don't want you post an RIP. Like what is you doing? Every, every week is RIP. Like you got a new T-shirt on every week. Like yeah, I don't like, want to be around. I, that. I, don't, I don't want to be around <laughs> your shirt come up. <laughs> is that it, man? Like, but a lot of people don't think outside. Like they don't think that. They think like they just. It being themselves, I get it, but it's like only be so much of yourself, especially with this right here with this phone, with this social media. Like the power is here, and this can also hurt you at the same time. Yes, you can. Cause this hurt me. Like I've I've made comments on shit, and then they don't want to deal with me. Like man, you were talking all that shit. Ooh, ooh, like, how you going? You don't even know who you. Like, you I'm don't know who affiliate with who, right? <laughs> especially when it and like we're in the same. I just say stay out of it. Just be. Oh no, I, I, yeah, I, I, was, yeah. I was like that. Uh, um, when I first stepped on the the the, the, the internet scene, I was kind of like, because I was the real deal. 
Mm. Like I was really in the streets. Raw, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I was, you know, I was about that. So when I saw it online, I'm like, oh, okay, everybody about it, let's get it. You know what I mean? But I had, I heard, I learned, I learned real quick that everybody ain't about that. Yeah, they just talk it. They talk that shit. You, know? <laughs> you, you be look crazy because you talk, you really about it. Yeah, you I'm talking. ready to go. Like, yeah, you ready to go? And them folks like, oh no, no you too. You too. Like this is no, just, this is it's just internet, yeah. bro. It's it's internet, like yeah. chill, bro. That's <laughs> real. <laughs> Nah, you know that. Yeah, we relate on that. Like, yeah. I, you gotta repeat that, but people don't keep that, man. Yeah, they don't yeah. understand. They nah, I, I, I had to learn the hard way. One thing my daddy told me about, you know, like, yeah, you like women, you want to chase women, you want a pretty fine girl. Like, yeah, you lose a million dollars chasing a woman, but you won't lose no women chasing a million dollars. And it always yeah. stuck with me. So go get it. Like, you want to go get that money? And that's your, you, like I said, you just gotta find that passion. You gotta find, like, what it is. That makes you turn, like, they really make you want to do this. Like, what we'll get you out of bed every morning. you be like, yeah, I want to do this. Because this, this whole dream, chasing your entrepreneurship dreams, is going to kick you in the throat every time. It's how you respond to get kicked in the throat. It's what makes you successful. That's right. You think I damn, you think I ain't lived in my car before? You think I ain't been on homeless? You think I couldn't pay my bills before? Like, I'd be a fool and I'd be a liar to tell you that. No, right. We and all folks don't. Like, we all been there. Like, any successful person in this industry has given it all up, lost it all to get it back again. Like, me and my partner were talking about, like, I think one of our songs, got that uh, we did a Christmas song. We talking about how we went, went broke, got money in the same year. Real shit. Went broke and had a million strength, had a, a, a hit record the same year. Mm. Because we put everything behind it. We, I really believe I stand behind everything I believe in that's when you know the difference between folks like folks that be it like I don't know I don't want to spend my last 50. if you're not spending your last 50 dollars behind what you believe in you're not really about that well speaking of that I'm glad we're there because I want to touch on this uh, coronavirus yeah COVID-19 you know we all know that we're all on lockdown pretty much nationwide we got curfews and all that and I see a lot of people online are complaining about not being able to work, not making any money or whatever. So it's all as a adjustment. producer, as yeah. a producer, how do you cope with the change of uh, This is opportunity. Yeah. Coronavirus is the best thing that happened to me. Like I said, I can't even mention it because I signed the NDA, but remember we, we talked about prayer, like I'm in a situation right now. Mm -hmm. Because of coronavirus, they paying attention. Right, they sit there. They sit, they sit they down learn. and they're watching. So if you reaching out, you staying persistent and consistent, and what you're doing, people like you can you can come up from the situation. You come out this coronavirus, you sitting on a couple. You know what I'm saying? You sitting on something, but as a a creative aspect, you don't need it. This is the best time. Yep. You should be making. You should have a schedule. I ain't working right now. Like, even if you have a nine to five, you just do the, the music stuff on the side. Like, I get it. Like, you have to start somewhere because I did it. I was doing this, and then I finally merged over to I do music full time. Right. That's a transition. This is your time. It's been forced on you. If you're not a producer making X Y Z, you're not on the internet reaching out to folks. If you're not on your music page, your Spotify, your Apple Music, and boosting it up, and you're not looking at SEO marketing and reading about it and studying it and learning how to like interact with folks and how to you liking your own picture can boost your algorithm up. Mm. That's free game right there. That's a free game. <laughs> you liking your own shit mm. can boost your algorithm to someone else looking at your stuff. Mm -hmm. You commenting on your own shit or you responding to comments on your stuff can get you better algorithm to where there's more visibility on it. You run a little five ten dollar promo ad. Five to ten dollars. Five to ten. It don't take a lot. Folks get intimidated. Thing you don't have to spend thousand dollars on marketing. You don't. You just have to spend it in the right spot. You can have that same it, thousand spend in the right and spot. And it's got to be consistent. It's consistent is, and that's I, what people don't. I understand. started out uh, spending like thirty dollars a month on my Facebook page. But you're consistent with it. But right? I was consistent. And so now, like, eventually, yeah. I got several Facebook pages, and all of them are maxed out at five dollars. See what I'm saying? Within four years. And and that's a lot of times too. I think if people make the mistake is they want that right now. Nothing in this industry is right now. That not is a this fluke. Industry. Not this industry. <laughs> not no more. This ain't the 90s. This ain't 2000 no more. Yeah. Now you, it take time. You think Lizio 
had that hot record. She had that record two years ago. I remember when I heard that record two years ago. It was crazy. And there's no one to be able to later. And, and I understand. heard the record, but I know Lizzie more about the shit she do than her record. See, and that's the mean what? Her being consistent. And like people don't understand. If you not consistent with this, people will make beats and go work their 95 for two months straight and never make another beat. Then they all work, they're on vacation, whatever, they make beats. And then they, so they, like, they, they this they, time they make beats every time they run into a rock. Yeah. This time, you need to be making, you need to be studying who you want to work. I'm telling you, anybody I ever reached out to, Yo Gotti, Young Dog, Iggy Azalea, we worked on Iggy Azalea album. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, look at, like, you got to really research what's going on in these artists' lives. They got artists under them. Why not work with that artist? Because that's how it happened. Mm -hmm. That's how the whole situation be breaking out, be working with people that's in their circle. Mm -hmm. And that's just some, that's more, I don't really like to get it. That's free game. That's some more free game. Like, oh, yeah. Shout out to Fugiano, too, man. Yo. Just signed a million dollar deal with Gucci, man. 1017, man. Shout out to Authentic. Uh, I feel Authentic Empire. Like, yeah. man, I rock with all. You're a got it. Boo, man. Like, dumb nigga number. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, just understanding, like, being consistent in what you do. And goddamn, staying with that path. And right now, I feel like everybody paying attention. You know that in the crib. Where they at? They DM them. Be respectful. Right. Email them. Keep emailing them. Why you gonna stop? Right. They got to They gonna look eventually. eventually now they're like, they're they're the house. Right. They're in the house. They're in the house. Right. They're in the house. People are responding to me. Email their managers. Email they they agents. You know. I remember the first time when I like seen a blue check respond. I was just like, oh wow. But well, guess what? We going for. I show you shit. We ain't got got no cap on that shit. You got cap. Ain't got a cat. <laughs> Look, he, screen, he screenshotted his blue check. Blue check response. I ain't gonna screen that. Who in it? Cause that'd be personal and that'd be getting into it. We look like scene. Spawn, scene, scene, conversation back. Oh, wow. See what I'm saying? Like, this real shit. Like, right. I'm not giving you no false game. Right, right. They will respond. You right. just have to have that persistence, consistency. Because guess what they do? As soon as I they respond, they probably look at my page. Mm -hmm. Well, my page, my page been consistent. Yep. I ain't never not posted all that goofy shit. Not posting for. It. I seen you ain't post for a year. You do music, really? Who's sense. gonna take that serious? You, you must, you must be locked up. Yeah, what are you doing? Like, what happened? <laughs> and they be like, oh, oh, oh you go to the page. You got three posts. I can't take you serious. Right. Right. I just can't. Like even at this level, even I ain't I ain't gonna say I'm all this and that, but before I spend money anywhere else on it, especially on the artist, I'm look. Oh, Damn. Yeah. Three thousand posts. Two thousand in the studio. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. They bought it. Right. They bought their life. <laughs> now I'ma reach out. <laughs> you think that I'm on my page doing that? Come on. Mm. So I, it's me that I post you see I post, I post accolades, I post what I'm doing, what I've done. And it's a constant like balance of it because I never know who's tuning in. Right. You could be tuning in 20 posts later. Damn. And what you do when you tune in 20 posts later, you scroll back, you be like, damn, okay. Oh, okay. he with that person. He was with that, that person. Was okay, with cool. Oh, I ride with him. So if he ride with him, like, you know what I'm Like, that's how people, like, you don't just do shit because you want to do it. You don't go to a club without recommendation. You don't just pull up at one note and be like, I'm at 1 0. I want to have a great time. Right. You go to 1 0 because, man, four other folks told you about it, posted about it. You like, damn, them niggas had a good time in 1 0. Right. I'm just saying, like, in any club, any, any anything you do in life, you be like, damn, they having a great time. Or oh, they enjoying the hell out of that. Juicy Crab, biggest goddamn chain out here with crab seafood. You think if folks want posting about it, talking about it, you think you would go? Hell no, you would go. You would ride by like this little hood one right here, right, here, right, right <laughs> down the street. Like, if you went to that one, you probably be like, I ain't going to that shit. <laughs> but because people post, like, oh, man, the food yeah, good, great, yeah. great. You're like, oh, man, I want, I want some of that too. Right, and the food would be trash. And that's the same way with, <laughs> yeah, that's the same way with yourself as a brand. Folks would be like, damn, if you work with all these folks, shit, I need to work with him too. Right. Why well, ain't work with him? And that's what, as a producer, an engineer, songwriter, anything, video you got audio a video for, audio for, audio. all this shit tied together, sports agent, it's all entertainment. Right. If you're not being persistent and consistent in what you do, people are just not going to notice you. But if you stand out, you find out what I call the purple cow, 
Uh, my partner talked about the purple cow theory with Seth Rogen. If you're a purple cow, like if you see a purple cow, you're gonna be like, man, you see that purple cow? Well, if it's black and white cow, I'm not tapping you on your shoulder to be like, right. look at that black and white cow. Right, well, if it's purple, purple, man, look, you see, you see this? Right. That's how you have to be as a person and as branding yourself. You gotta be like, people tap into you, you like I said, be the Wi Fi. Be a purple cow, be like, man, you see what this? This joke is did. Woo woo woo. That's why I like, man, now I talk, shout out ATS on 20. Purple cow. Purple Who cow. else feeding them DJs? Yeah. Low Vision Media. Purple cow. Shay Falso. Purple, purple cow. cow. <laughs> DMV Music. Purple cow. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who is who is doing that? No one. Right. So now you tune in. Who is feeding the DJs in the whole city? Crab legs. I'm talking about, man, we done ain't good. Oh, yeah. They laying uh, shout out. Another shout out to ATS. Another shout top out 20. to ATL Top 20, man. It says, I think about the goodness he's done for the culture, like, and people just, I feel like people just don't respect it. Mm -hmm. And it need to be respected. Me coming, being an outsider and coming into the city is like, I respect it. So if you from that city, you need to be behind it too. Mm -hmm. All that, I'm from Atlanta, forever all over Atlanta, feel all that, you need to be behind that shit, bro. Cause that is a grind and I respect it. That's our segment, man, for the Lalo Show. You know, our man Shane Foster here, man. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you, man. Humble, Appreciate humble, you. We finally got this out the way, though. We're going to have to get some money soon. You know Already. what I mean? So be on the lookout. But make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and the notification button because I'm going in and shit. Yeah, hey. 2020. It's the Lalo Show, man. All right, we're gone. Give me let's go.